What is going on you guys? This is TechHD coming at you with a brand new how-to video. In this how-to video, what I'm going to be showing you guys is how to port forward the PS4 using your Netgear Nighthawk. So basically, the first thing that you're going to want to do is you want to go to settings, and then you're going to want to go to network, and then you're going to want to set up your internet connection. So whatever you're using, Wi-Fi, LAN cable, I'm using LAN cable, and I go to custom and put manual. So you can put your IP address, your subnet mask, your default gateway, your DNS, basically so that whenever you turn on your PS4 constantly, it will not give you a different IP address. It will give you the same thing. So then basically it will keep on giving you the same port. So I'm going to be putting my IP address. I'm just going to show you guys right here. I'm going to put 192.168.1.1. And then I'm going to put my subnet mask, my default gateway, my primary DNS, anything else that I need to put. Alright, so I'll be right back. Alright you guys, so after setting everything up, the next thing that you're going to want to do is you want to go to your computer and then go to your Netgear settings. Alright. Alright, so the next thing that you're going to want to do is you want to go to your computer, you want to open up your browser, and you want to type in your IP address, which is 192.168.1.1. Put your username, which is admin, your password is password for Netgear. If you have anything else, then you're going to have to search it up, or you might basically know it. So then the next thing that you're going to want to do is go to advanced, go to advanced setup, and then go to port forwarding, port triggering. And then you're going to want to copy these down here which is ps4 ps4 one you're gonna have to give it a different name I just do simple things and then you're gonna want to put these port numbers which is 80 80 443 443 1935 1935 and then the last one is the only one that's a little bit different which is 348 uh, 3480 and then 3478 I don't know why and then you can see right here that this is the port the IP address that I have that I put on my PS4 which is 192.168.1.4 after that what you could do is you could go to um, setup you could go to QoS setup and you could put QoS for your PS4 put it to the highest so when I have I have it to PS4 I know my MAC address and I put it set to the highest and then if you want to go a little bit more forward like you don't really care about security what you care about is better connection then you could go to default DMS DMZ I said DMS DMZ server which is on the WAN setup and then you could put your IP address which is 192.168.1.4 and I have everything all those things set up to my PS4 so after when you're done putting all that uh, we're gonna go to the PS4 and we're gonna see how the connection is if it's stable and how it basically is all right all right, you guys, so we're back on the PS4, and I'm going to be showing you guys an example on how stable my connection is. Basically, we're going to go to Advanced Warfare, and for some reason, my NAT type is shown as strict, but my connection is stable. So we're going to see a TDM. Hopefully, we can get in a quick match. Alright you guys, so we're in a TDM match on recovery and you can see that my ping and my connection is honestly insane. It doesn't drop whatsoever. We got enemies, we got teammates that drops, but mine is stable. It's perfectly fine. So let me know in the description below if this worked out for you, if this helped you guys at all. And uh, let me know what your nap type is on Advanced Warfare. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitch. As always, this is Tech HD, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.